see Harris, Embiid, and Feibel for the Sixers. Green called for the foul. Boston gets on the board first. The bucket from Jalen with the lead. Brown, the fadeaway bucket. Right, rebounded by Brown. 9-2 lead here for the Celtics. Brown drives and scores. So improved as a score. But his decision making on when to go, when to help defense. Grant Williams, kick out. That's shooting practice for Brown. And he nails it. 11 points for Jalen Brown and a 14 4 lead for the Celtics. And even though Danny Green hesitated, he still had enough time to get that shot up and in. 8 0 run. Tice from the outside. Yep. Got a three. E. Smith was by himself underneath with Sixers surrounding him. And it's 43 27 Boston. Brown got a good look at it. And he knocks it down. Now, Philly's had some really good looks that they haven't made outside of oh. um, good defense by Boston. A heat check for Jalen Brown. Well, they recognize it when they share the ball. It's easier. 26 assists a game in this eight-game win streak. Brown gets it to go on the inside. But you see how he's <laughs> thought about it. He did, too. Shot clock is down to eight. Brown. Defended by Thibel, high, Arthur, oh, he is not human, Jalen Brown is hitting from everywhere, five seconds, Brown at the horn, oh, Jalen Brown is at another level, five of five from three-point territory, Brown is locked and loaded in Philly. Well, if you're going to make a trade with your old boss, you might as well get a player you're familiar with and comfortable with. And speaking of being comfortable, you sit a little bit with Westbrook and last year with Brooklyn. So he can and he is open to kind of changing and adjusting how he needs to play for his team. Brown avoids the trip and Tatum leans in for the bucket when hard there's the Ben Simmons part of the equation he was not part of the team and now he gets a second chance in Brooklyn as Horford gets the roll on the three ball Jalen I don't know where to even begin franchise record for threes you got that party started you had five for five from behind the arc to start this game what were you all seeing offensively uh, just trying to be aggressive uh, we're trying to keep the streak going trying to play some good basketball and uh, heading into the break Okay, so the streak has continued. Offense obviously was there, but when you look at the score differential, the defense had to play a big part in what you all were doing tonight. How is that coming along? We play both sides of the ball over here. You know, we score and we lock up, so we just want to keep that, that energy going, um, but we set the tone on defense for sure. Earlier in the season, we saw a lot of games where you all lost close ones or gave up leads in the fourth. How did those games impact how you all play now? Oh, you learn from them. Um, you get experience, you gain experience. We got a new group, new coaching staff, and um, we, we learn it on the fly. We're not making excuses. We just stay in the course. And uh, right now, we got some W. <laughs> That's a huge compliment because you're on the road in Philadelphia. You're nemesis, if you will, and you have fans coming up trying to take selfies. Um, yeah, that's a part of it. When you win, they take care of everything. So I'm not worried about nothing else but trying to get wins. Um, tonight was fun. Okay, Marcus Smart, he went down in the first half, did not come back, had an ankle sprain. What does he mean to this team? A lot, man. Marcus has been doing a great job all year, just being poised, you know, and really finding ways to get everybody the ball and uh, just keeping the energy flowing in the right direction. So I'm going to go check on him, see how his ankle is doing, and uh, we need him going in the second, second half of the season. All right, nice job tonight. Thanks for stopping. No, no problem. Thank you.